Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Commodity Broker with RJO Futures. Today, September 28th, Friday. With morning comments on stock index futures. And I always give you the word of the day or a phrase of the day. And I would have to say the word of the day is evaluation of Spain or Spain. Um, we're going to get the stress test for the Spain banks. That's actually pretty darn important because if there's a run on the banks in Spain, that could be overwhelmingly negative to the stock index futures all the way around. And how do I know this? My opinion is looking at the stock market right now in futures, we're down uh, about six points and we don't even have the results yet. So they're concerned. So it could get really ugly if they're downgraded a lot. Um, it, it's kind of funny because we had kind of an update yesterday in the stock index futures and now we've pulled back six points and at this time yesterday we were kind of right where we are now. Um, 14.35, we're down six, we're right in the middle of that area on a technical point of view but before I talk about technical analysis, let's look at the fundamentals on the reports that came out today. Um, let's see, oh, here we are. Personal uh, income was a little negative. Personal spending um, was in line. Uh, the personal income was 0.1 on a positive note. We are looking for 0.2 as an estimate. Personal spending 0.5. Um, and we were looking for 0.5. Spending is more important than income uh, for our economy and expansion. Um, later on, we're going to get Chicago PMI, which is a manufacturing report. Um, we're looking for it to be around 52.9. Um, so if it's better, that would be good. Michigan sentiments coming out, the final reading. We're looking for it to be about 79. Remember, if we get less than what is estimated, it would have a negative approach. Personally, I don't think that we're gonna have that much movement until we get the results from the stress test for Spain banks. Let's take a look at the technical analysis so that we know how the momentum is riding with uh, the stock index futures. Let's use the December S&P future contract. Again, we're at 1434, 1435, we're down six. Um, minor support, if we close under 34 right here, then we might power our way down to 14.23. We need, uh, on a technical point of view, the bulls need uh, the market to hold and not close underneath 14.15. That, in my opinion, would be a trend change um, from the bear, uh, bulls having control to the bull bears taking control of the marketplace and it should kind of filter into the other indexes like the NASDAQ, the Russell and the Dow futures. So have said that on the way up, 65 would be a big number resistance now. We can't seem to power our way through. Um, and then 75 is a minor number. The target would be 1493 going on the way up. Um, have said all that, um, it probably won't do anything until we get the fundamentals of this stress test. So that's the name of the game today. I do want to put a note that if we pull back even more than where we are right now in the stock index futures, it would make for two weeks in a row of lower weekly closes. And then you can see lower highs, lower closes, lower uh, lows then you're kind of rolling over having a trend change according to technical analysis. Keep that in mind. Remember always, trading futures or opting the futures involves risk of loss, not suitable for everyone. I encourage you to call me. Uh, we can kick around any ideas you want, any markets for the beginner, intermediate, or even the advanced traders. Good luck, good trading, have a great weekend.